<laughs> All right, LDBC. This is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys. Uh, you know, I've been seeing in in the news. I've been seeing like a couple of people, man, put out that you know Conor McGregor. I mean, Floyd Mayweather offered Conor McGregor, you know, uh, help <laughs> for his next camp. You know, he can come train at the gym. And I'm thinking, okay, Floyd just saying that. You know, Conor probably wouldn't even respond. But then I saw a full time MMA's video and shout out to full time. Uh, <laughs> he reported that uh, you know Conor McGregor turned it down. <laughs> Guys, I, I'm, I'm, I mean. It, how long I've been telling y'all that Floyd Mayweather is a mark? Floyd is a mark, okay? Uh, like, honestly, man, I, I can't even take Floyd seriously anymore. Floyd is a mark. And Floyd, nobody, you know what? I don't blame Conor. If I'm Conor McGregor, I would have said, uh, no. Uh, there's no way on God's green earth that I would come to that gym, okay? First of all, he wouldn't even be able to train, man. Because you have all these women and all these people and all these thirsty-ass women, you know, like, uh, coming up to him and, you know, trying to get his autograph or trying to, you know, get next to him. and Like, you can't train at that gym. Like, I don't understand. I don't see how any young fighter could come to that gym because I'm telling you, as soon as you get to that gym, you know, you're going to, some young girl going to come up. And these guys are young, man. You know, what you think they're going to do? They're going to come up. They're going to start messing with him. He's going to get her pregnant. And he's going to be bound to her for 18-plus years. He gonna be bound to this girl for 18 years. Like these young fighters, they don't really know any better. You know, they just oh, pretty girl, she into me. <laughs> I don't blame Connor. I would never. I wouldn't go there to train. I mean, for what? I mean, the Mayweather gym is like an open circus. Okay, it's an open circus. You got people, everybody sitting around watching other people do work. I think you got very few trainers that come in there. You know, and I don't think Uncle Roger coming in as much because of his health. And then, you know, Floyd Mayweather Sr. be in there, but, you know, all he be doing is, you know, talking and bragging and, I'm the best trainer. I'm the best trainer. And, uh, 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 there's no contest. Uh, nothing better than the rest. Uh, better than my son. Like, come on, man. Come on. That's what you got to deal with when you go to the Mayweather gym, man. So, I, <laughs> uh, uh, I wouldn't be there, you know. I don't blame him. Conor McGregor did the right thing. Don't, don't go there. Don't go there. Because, you know, that gym will ruin your life. And something will go down, and then Connor be forced to have to beat somebody tail. So it's smarter Connor to just say, "Nope, I ain't going," you know. And what what is Floyd gonna do? What you gonna show Connor how to bob and weave in octagon? You gotta do more than box, man. You gotta do more than box. And I only I only think Floyd was probably wanting to train. I think Floyd was meaning it in the context like, "Hey, just come work out of my gym." I think that's what Floyd was meaning. But you know, still, man, nah. Uh. -uh. Floyd's a mark. He'll have Conor out there, you know, partying. Have Conor out there drinking and not even focus on his fight. See, Floyd Mayweather, when he trained, he could focus around all that stuff. Like, Floyd Mayweather got the focus of, of a god. Like, that dude, he can focus and he can get stuff done. Like, Floyd is one of those people that he gonna get it done. But, you know, you got every other fighter in that environment, man. They can't get it done. You can tell, man. It's a big old distraction piece, man. It's a big distraction piece. And I can tell you, I can see, you know, Conor, you know, he get done with uh, a practice or getting done with training. You know, Florida come up to him with like five women that, you know, of course he paid for these women. But he come up to him with five women and, hey, hey, um, 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 Connor, um, come to the big boy mansion. Come to the big boy mansion. And, um, 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 take your time. Um, got three, got three ladies for you. Um, um, money man all day. Like, I can see Floyd doing that old punk boy stuff, man. And Floyd, why don't Floyd get that people really don't like him? Why don't he understand, like, what, what, Floyd, what, what is it with you, man? Nobody really likes you. They just like the fact that you can buy them stuff. And they'll smile. And, you know, the girls that he with, them girls go right back to their dudes. At the end of the day, they go right back to them to, uh, to their dudes that, who they really care for. They taking Floyd money. They taking all his money. And they're giving it back to the dudes that don't have money. How is Floyd going to explain this? He can I mean, he can't explain it, really. Floyd know why. Floyd know that he's a simp. Floyd know that he's a mark. Floyd knows that he knows that he's a trick. Okay, Floyd knows this. Floyd don't really have friends, man. These are all people that's bound by the money. They pretty much yes, man. Floyd paying him, man. This dude don't have no kind of, you know, he don't have no kind of mind control over people. If Floyd had no money, if, if Floyd couldn't give people all these gifts, you know, you think these people would be there taking that abuse, you know, taking that abuse from this micro midget? Come on. 
do you think these people would be there taking abuse from this little micro midget? I would be like, Floyd, <laughs> you a micro midget. Would you shut up? That's what I would tell him. I tell him, to, man, I don't care nothing about your money, man. You stupid. Look at you, Floyd. You are a mark. You're a mark. You try to buy friends. I mean, you know, you would think that Connor, you think that Connor would be a little bit more cordial to Floyd, you know, after helping Connor get the biggest payday of his career. Connor McGregor, I, and I told y'all, these two were never even cool. They friend Connor just, he dealt with Floyd just, what, just like everybody else do. Connor treated Floyd just like everybody else do. They deal with Floyd long enough, you know, to get some money off of him. That's what they do. They deal with him. And then after that, they show him no respect. Guys, this, 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 this ain't changing. This is never going to change. As long as Floyd got money, spending money, and all these lavish get Floyd, Floyd going to always be a mark. We used to know dudes like Floyd back in the day, man. He used to be like the rich guys who used to come to our neighborhood, man. And, and you know, man, that these guys, you look at them, you know, they couldn't, they couldn't possibly get the girls that they with unless, unless they had a little money. And we all knew that the girls, you know, was, was gold diggers. We knew that. I'm telling you, man, Floyd remind me of dudes that, that, that was in our neighborhood that used to come over there, man. I swear he did. But, you know, it is what it is. I find it funny, though. I find it real funny, though, that Floyd's always reaching out. Like, you remember he reached out to Ronda Rousey? Ronda Rousey ignored him. She ain't even, you know, like, what, what, is, what is with dude? Dude always, like, it, it's, it's always like Floyd trying to fit in. He always try to fit in and get people to like him that don't. Remember, he was a friend uh, to my, oh, man, you know, uh. Donald Sterling is my friend. Uh, um, 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 um. Mark Cuban is my friend. Um, 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 um. <laughs> Donald Trump is my friend. Um, 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 um. Like, <laughs> everybody is friend. I guarantee you all the people I named, they, they don't care nothing about no Floyd. They respect Floyd daddy. They respect Ro and Roger. Like, kind of respect Floyd daddy and Roger more than they do Floyd. That ought to tell you something. They know Floyd. Uh, they know Floyd and Mark, man. They know he is. You guys tell me what you think, man. I find this totally hilarious. I find it hilarious that Floyd is... At, well, Floyd gonna be an idiot. This is your boy Coach Shelton Harris, and I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe.